to Dance Engineering Workshop today. Uh, today I'm going to be covering a little 924 project car that we've got here. The customers brought the car to us. Uh, he bought our individual throttle body kit some time ago, but he didn't get around to fitting it. Uh, so he's brought it to us to, uh, to have it all fitted and, uh, and hopefully get it dynoed. Uh, so I just wanted to cover the main aspects of the uh, throttle body kit and the management kit. So we do the ECU and all of that uh, and the trigger wheel kit that we also offer on our website. Um, so yeah, we've got a typical 2 litre 924 engine, uh, it's got a set of our 44mm ZX10 throttle bodies on there and a fabricated inlet manifold uh, that we do, all available on our website. Um, it's got our coil pack set up on there and a set of ignition leads that we've supplied as well as our fuel pressure regulator that you can see here. Um, so yeah, that uh, basically uses the existing pump, but um, just puts one of our adjustable regulators on there, get you down to three bar, um, fuel pressure wise. And then we've got um, a uh, ME221 ECU in the footwell, uh, all looms been pulled through and wired up. Um, air temp sensor, coolant temp sensor and that sort of thing, usual usual stuff for EFI. Uh, and then we've got our trigger wheel kit on here because obviously it doesn't come with a crank sensor as standard on this engine, so we do a full trigger wheel kit for that. Uh, and that's what I want to focus on today is um, basically the trigger wheel kit as well as the uh, other offerings that we do. So I'm going to send the car up and we'll have a look at the trigger wheel kit uh, and then we'll go through some of the options that we can do for this car. Okay, so sent the car up in the air now, uh, so we can see the trigger wheel kit here. I'm hoping you can see this on the on the camera. Uh, we've got our trigger wheel that's been fitted behind the front pulley. Um, we've got our crank sensor, which is a Ford Z-Tech typical two-pin VR sensor on our bracket setup. So it's basically bolted straight onto this engine, uh, no drilling and, and uh, fabrication required. Uh, we've got about just under a millimetre gap between the sensor and the wheel. Um, and it's been configured to be as close to a ZTEC offset as possible, and I'll go through that in a minute, the offset value that needs to be put into the software uh, to allow the base map to work and to get up and running, basically. Uh, so that offsets the critical part, um, and that's it. I'll go through that in a mighty software for the ME221 um, and cover that. Uh, we also, on this kit, we provide a spacer for the alternator and um, water pump pulleys so basically it moves everything off by the same amount as that trigger wheel thickness so that it's a, it's a complete kit basically um, to make sure your belt is still running in the correct uh, position so if we just come over to uh, the laptop here uh, we've got the base map loaded um, for this car uh, and the important one that we want to talk about is basically that 102 there so that is the trigger offset in the start menu engine driver and we've got the 102 degree offset. So basically that means that the sensor sees the gap or missing tooth 102 degrees before the engine reaches top dead center. So there is a little drawing as well on our website. And so if I just go to here, uh, and this is uh, quite a useful drawing that you can download off our website, off any of the 924 listings. Uh, if you go to the attachments tab, uh, we have a lot of useful documentation there. So this drawing basically shows you the, the assembly of it and it gives you that 102 degree offset. So that is the number that needs to go into the base map. Now if you do ask us for a base map, we will put that in there for you, but it's just, uh, just thought I'd cover it in this video um, to make sure everybody's aware of it and how it works. So a normal Z-Tech will be 90 degrees now, unfortunately, because of the way the holes are on this uh, trigger wheel, um, we've got to have an extra 12 degrees on there, which doesn't matter. Uh, the offset value can be anything, just as long as we know what it needs to be, and that's absolutely fine. So that offset will work for the Nodis, and it will work for the ME221, 360, 442, any of the, any of the products, as well as any other standalone ECU. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what you need. And also, we've got a coil pack here just to um, illustrate um, that that offset is based on the fact that you will have numbers one and four on the left hand side of the coil pack. So this is a Ford coil pack. Uh, bear in mind my camera is reversed, but this is the left hand side. This coil is split this way and one and four are here. So that offset will work as long as you've got cylinders one and four connected to here. But a few other products that we offer for the 924. Um, obviously, as I say, this is our fast road kit as we call it. So that comes with the set of throttle bodies, which are a bike, 
set of throttle bodies, uh, ME221 ECU, the loom and the sensors and all the bits and bats to go with it. If you want to keep it a bit simpler, a bit cheaper, which often is the case with these cars, because the best wheel in the world, they're not a particularly expensive car at the moment, so people want to do it on a budget. Uh, we do offer our traditional bike carbs. Uh, sorry, my camera's going crazy there. Um, so we can do basically a bike carb starter pack, as we call it, which is basically a set of bike carbs, a manifold, and a set of hoses. Uh, that's available on our website for £500, £600. Uh, and that will actually run alongside the existing uh, engine management for the Spark. So um, no need to do anything with the Spark. However, if you do want to do something with the Spark uh, and really update the engine, then as I say, we fit our trigger wheel, which I've just gone through, uh, and then we can provide a Nodiz ECU, which runs on the Mighty software, comes with a loom. Uh, again, plug and play uh, to get your car up and running um, using an ignition only ECU alongside a set of carbs. Very simple to do um, and it's a nice little upgrade, modernization for you. If you want to go all the way and get the throttle bodies, then we do the throttle bodies and say the bike throttle bodies. We also do do a, um, a DCOE style throttle body as well for a bit more premium look, uh, which we can do for that as well. Come and then we can provide the ECU again with a full plug and play loom. Uh, and all the sensors that are required to do that job. Uh, and then finally, we do do uh, kits for the 944. We've got a S2 there, three litre 16 valve, lovely engine. That's having our big 50 mil throttle body kit put on it. It's got an ME221 ECU to go in there as well. I'll be doing another video on that shortly. And we've got turbo in the background there. We do a management pack for that. So um, if you're looking for an ECU for a turbo, we can do it again. ME221, ME360, 442, etc. with a loom. Uh, we do a trigger wheel kit for it to make it a 36 minus one, like I've just gone through again on the 924. So we do loads of products uh, for the uh, 924s, 944s, 968s as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, check our website out, danceengineering.co.uk. Uh, if you like this video, then uh, please do comment and let us know what you might like to see from us. And uh, yeah, get on our website, see what we can offer you. Thank you.